people get frustrated with the lack of results. People get frustrated when they don't get instant feedback and instant adaptation and instant muscle and instant weight loss, but they're not willing to put in the fucking effort to cover all the other bases, all the seven pillars. People just think that if they go to the gym, they'll get all the results. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? It does, but it's only one facet of your life. And I've said this many times, if you, only, if you work out an hour every single day, that's 96% of your week that you're outside the gym. If you do it two hours a day, that's 92%. So it makes it so important. It makes that, that four to 8% of your week so important because that's, hey, if you're lifting heavy, you could build a lot of muscle. But that's also why the other 96, 98% is so essential because outside the gym is where you spend most of your time. That's sleep. That's meditation. That's hydration. That's recovery. That's nutrition. That's mental stability, that's recovery. It's all those things. It's everything else. And people are just looking at one small facet, one small aspect. How can you only look at your physical training? That's what blows my fucking mind. How can you only look at that? And for people like the muckbangers, the face fuckers, you know, I'll be obviously doing another video tomorrow. We're going to drop some more nuts on chin. You know, I'm trying to take out the fucking trash. For people that don't understand how many other side effects food leads to. Not only is it poor habit, not only is it just deplorable, just gluttony, but you're damaging your body from the excess calories. You're consuming tons of artificial and chemicals and just things that are not naturally found in foods that most people should not be consuming. And not only that, if you don't do an elimination diet, you might not know, you might think that whole grain bread is good for you. What if that's fucking you up? A lot of people are going to the extremes. Oh, I'm not going to eat fast food. If, you, if, if you're only eating, if, you're just, if that's your idea of health is not eating fast food, then what about all the foods that you think are healthy that are fucking your body up? Like it goes deeper and deeper. And it's really very fundamental. Are you fueling your body? Are you giving your body fuel? Are you giving your body fuel? Or are you having a party in your mouth? Are you having a brain gasm because, oh, dopamine release? Are you an addict? Are you just drugging yourself? Are you making excuses? This is where meditation really has benefit because it will help you call yourself out on your bullshit. It helps you manage all these triggers and all these thoughts and emotions. It helps you ignore a lot of these bullshit thoughts that don't have any bearing on your day and don't deserve any attention from you. Thanks for watching, fam. Make sure to subscribe to the Daily Soul podcast on YouTube so you can catch the live streams every single day.